Welcome to Inside the Nest. I'm Grant Paholke. Joining me, Jill Siminski, head coach of the women's basketball program. Coach, after getting really close last week, you're able to get two wins this week. Tell us about the performance by your team and if the balls have started to fall your way a little bit or what improvements you've been able to see. You know, I, if I could put my finger on it, I would. Uh, you know, it, there's just uh, games that we come out with maybe a little more energy. Um, I think you saw that with Rockers and S&T uh, where we were really plugged in. Uh, defensively, and that really feeds our offense. And I think when you can get the excitement defensively and we're talking, um, a lot of good things happen for us offensively. And that's really been what we've been talking about quite a bit, is just being able to step out and control what you can control. And um, that is our talking and our energy level. And, and I thought um, S&T, S&T is a good team. Maybe their record isn't as indicative, but when you look at they beat Maryville twice already. Uh, we really obviously very struggled with Maryville. So, it's just being able to build on that and kind of figure out what what that is that gets us to play with that kind of energy. To start at the beginning of the week, Kiara Bradley had a double-double, 28 points, 12 rebounds against Rockers. She's been a little streaky as right. the new year started. What has she been able to do for your team? Uh, you know, she just plays so hard. I mean, when you look at her, when she's going hard offensively and defensively, and, uh, you know, when we went through our little streak of our, our losses, I think just talking to her, she felt a lot of pressure that it fell on her to try to do things. And so I think the streakiness comes from wanting to win as badly and trying to maybe overdo it. And she's starting to kind of see that. And what's nice is that we have a lot of kids that, uh, you know, the other day we had five kids in, in double figures. We have a lot of kids that can score and pick up that for her. And with that, that really will open her up for uh, to get maybe some easier shots than what she did, she's having to, to take right now. You mentioned the double figures on Saturday against Missouri S&D. Ainsley Tolson had a new career high of 18 points. Leah Finn, one point shy of her career high at 17. What does Leah Finn, who's really good at shooting the long ball, do for your team? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. Leah is a great athlete. Um, you know, she's somebody that I don't think has figured out how much she can do um, as a whole. I think she questions herself a little bit more. But she's somebody that if you leave open, she can shoot the three really well. She's also a kid that can drive um, and finish at the basket, and she's just got that quick first step. And uh, you know, she's she's somebody that you're going to keep seeing build and build. And I think the more confidence she gets, the better uh, you know our team's going to be too. Ryan Fisher enjoyed a great weekend. She had 11 points, one tying her career high, and then six steals. She came off an injury last year. What has she been able to do for this team coming off that injury? You know, Ryan's just a great defensive player, and she brings energy to us. And, and you know, you'll see her, like, steal the ball when somebody's going up for a layup. She reaches around and can get that. And uh, she just has a nose for the ball. And, again, she's a competitor. Uh, you know, the offensive part, I don't expect from her, <laughs> you know, really, I mean, that was just a kind of a, a benefit the other day, but she's somebody that I have confidence in. She just always looks for the pass first, uh, but she knows she loves, she loves the defensive part, and, you know, when she's able to score and if somebody leaves her open, she definitely uh, can shoot the ball there. Heading out on the road this week, playing Quincy and then Truman State, teams that you've seen once yeah. already this season, what are you going to do differently this time against these opponents? Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, I think when we played Quincy, um, that was one of those games that we really played flat. Um, you know, Quincy, I think, is playing well and, and is improved from last year. But I, you know, I, I think for us, it's just coming in and, and not really focusing on who we're playing, but more so figuring out what makes us go. And I think the more you can work on yourselves and not worry, it makes, it makes the other teams have to worry a little more about you. So I know we'll go out there and compete um, better with um, both times when we play Quincy and Truman uh, than we did the first time, and hopefully we get uh, a better outcome. Great. Well, good luck. All right, thanks. The Cardinals are back in action this Thursday as they go to Illinois to face off against the Quincy University Hawks. Tip-off is set at 5.30, and you can get the game live on the GLVC Sports Network. I'm Grant Paholke. This has been Inside the Nest. We'll see you next week.